what obviously you know you say you, you get on these horses harry you, you give every horse 110 percent, which we see you do uh week in week out do, do you think with this enforced break i mean we're two months from our last meeting today as we speak by the time we get back it's going to be three months from a personal perspective do you think you'll be able to appreciate racing that little bit more and do, and do you think everybody will appreciate it that little bit more because i mean we never ever in singapore stop for two months three months four months it's it's unheard of so do you think when we all get back i mean everybody's going to be sort of really up for it aren't they yeah uh, you know i reckon it's you know like two months is take a long long time you know I, I guess you know when we come back you know everyone it's going to be, you know, like very hungry, you know, like mm. to do their best. I mean, of course, you know, everybody do their best, but, you know, to you know, not be able to, to earn some money for two months and sure. of course, you know, not, and not, not be able to ride a winner for, for a long time. And of course, by the time we get back, you know, we just want to do trying to as, as best as, as we can, you know, like, um, and like myself, I only wrote nine winners so far. And you know, I just I just want to try to get more as much as I could, you know, before end of the year. Yeah. yeah and obviously, and last year, Harry, a top ten finish as well. Is that is that another little target in your mind? You know, obviously, you know, you've ticked off the feature race win. Perhaps top ten. I suppose that would be something to aim at. Well, you know, I think it hasn't been so easy for me. You know, being a, a professional now, you know. Like, but my target every year, if I could get 25 winners, close to 30 winners, that would be, that would be great. Sure. But, um, but, um, the, but the, the main thing is, I'm I just, I just hoping that, you know, I'll still get a lot of support from uh, every trainer and, uh, you know, I like to get my license uh, renewed every year. That, that, yeah, that would be great. And, and, but the winner is just a number, you know, as, as long as you, you, you keep everybody happy, you know, like, and, um, yeah, so that's, that's really my target, really. I mean, just trying to right here as long as I could. Yeah, for sure. Um, and you've been busy, Harry. Um, you say, obviously, you're back riding track work. Um, just a couple of questions. Firstly, uh, how competitive is it? I mean, obviously, I think you probably answered that, but how competitive is it? amongst the jockeys now i mean we've seen the likes of glenn boss head back to australia michael rod's gone back pat maloney alicia collett not there at the moment um has it got harder in singapore do you think in your time uh, amongst the jockeys obviously it's always very competitive and secondly who have you been riding track work for yeah I, i've been riding track work for everybody really uh, at the moment because I, I, I was doing freelance mm. um yeah i, I reckon lately I starting to get, you know, like a lot more opportunities, you know, uh, some of a few jockeys that uh, left Singapore. So uh, I guess, yeah, the less jockey, foreigner jockey we have here, there'll be more chance for our local jockey. But um, and it's all about, you know, like your your momentum too, you know, like when you when you're kicking some winner, you know, you get you get better better rides, and that it doesn't matter. Who you know who's riding around you? You know uh, whether the big boys or you know whoever they are. But uh, yeah, it's all about your 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 moment momentum and your confidence level, all that. And but yeah, I, I must say that yeah, I'm doing pretty 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 good. Uh, I come back to inform again, and um, yeah, I must say that I'm I'm pretty pleased with the things going, and and I appreciate the opportunity that I have at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to take every opportunity. And just, just finally, Harry, um, obviously, you're, as I said earlier on, you're a very active man on social media. I noticed you managed to throw your leg over a certain Derby winner. How did he feel? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, he's a good ride, uh, Nick. Um, Son Marshall. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty, yeah, he's pretty nice, nice ride. And um, I, I can't remember if I rode him before when I was working for, for Lee Friedman. Uh, but then uh, now I'm back to work for him. Yeah, I was I was galloping yesterday. But yeah, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I did gallop him yesterday. Um, yeah, he absolutely a nice horse to ride. Me. He's a he, he's a gun. You know, he yeah. he just does what he has to. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty easy horse to ride. And um, 
I was talking to Lee Friedman yesterday too. He said, he said to me, that's, that's going to be your Derby, Derby horse, Harry, you know, like, and, um, yeah, uh, we just, just see how it goes, uh, Nick. Yeah, he'll uh, he'll be a, a lovely horse to uh, to sort of get on um, for sure. Well, Harry, look, it's been great to to chat to you, and obviously great to to shed a bit of light on on how things are going for the jockeys at the moment. Um, hopefully, we'll be we'll be back in July or August, so that will be uh, that'll be quite something if we uh, we are. But um, uh, great to chat to you, Harry, and uh, and and thanks for taking the time, uh, and um, we look forward to seeing you back at Crownji. Yeah, no worries, Nick. Uh, thanks for having me, and yeah. Hopefully we'll see you at the track one day. Um, yeah, and thanks, thanks again for having me. Yeah, hopefully we'll see you very soon. Harry Kassam, the go-to man. Thanks very much for, for chatting to us here on Crunchy Racing TV. Thank you, Nick. Cheers.